What's up guys? Jason Butler, the crypto realtor here. Just wanted to make a video. I'm up here at the top of Lone Mountain in Las Vegas, trying to work on some good habits, break some bad habits. Everybody needs to do that. You know how that goes. I'll give you a little panoramic of the city of Vegas. Pretty good shot of the strip. See down around towards Henderson. And Summerlin area. And back to me. So I wanted to make this video um, regarding the keto diet. I made a post yesterday on Facebook and had some people that were interested in keto. And uh, I'm not a medical expert. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm not giving advice. I'm not saying keto is easy. I'm not saying it's safe. Uh, there's debates on that. I personally think it's safe, but uh, you might lose weight and gain it all back. But I think everybody has to lose weight at some point. If you're a human being, you're gonna splurge, you're gonna put some pounds on. It just happens to everybody. Even professional athletes, when they retire, they get fat, almost all of them. So it happens, it just is what it is. We're, we're pretty blessed to have the food that we have. So anyway, keto, keto diet, short for ketosis, short for ketoacidosis. Most people actually do know about it. Kind of back here, we're trying to get shielded from the wind up here. I hope it's not too loud. Ketoacidosis is a process whereby when you remove sugar, fructose, sugar type things from your body, your body has a store of a certain amount of glycogen that it stores in the tissue, which is generally what your body is burning, making you constantly hungry all the time. And when you remove that from your body, your body starts to burn its own fat as fuel. And your brain actually likes that. And when you burn your fat, you deposit ketones in your urine. That's how you know you're in ketosis and you can actually get these little strips that you pee on and when they change the right color then you know that you have ketones in your urine which means you're in ketoacidosis keto and it's working which is really cool so i've been doing it for about two weeks now maybe a little less and i already lost like 10 pounds and um, it's actually super easy after a couple days once the glycogen stores are out of your body. For most people, it's gonna probably be longer, three or four days, but I've done it many times, so I seem to get into ketosis pretty quick. Anyway, um, after a couple days, it's very easy. Your appetite is suppressed tremendously. You're not even hungry. The types of foods that you can eat, you guys can check out videos on YouTube. There's thousands of videos and there's gurus and people that will give you a lot of good info. But basically, you're taking out carbs. You're removing carbs from your diet almost completely. Small amount of carbs, like in a salad, you get some carbs, tomato here and there, um, lettuce, um, roasted veggies, stuff like that. You're gonna get a little bit of carbs. But you can be like consuming 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day and still stay in ketosis. I mean, some people can have 50 or 60 depending on their exercise level and still stay in ketosis. So you don't have to have zero carbs, but the more hardcore you are on the diet with regard to cutting out the carbs, the better results you're going to get. There's, there's some um, disagreements out there that if you have artificial sweeteners that you won't be able to stay in ketosis. I've had times where that was the case. Right now I'm having coffee. Um, uh, I use stevia. I know it doesn't taste as good as sweet and low or, or aspartame, but it's way better for you. Um, you may not know it, but aspartame is actually the fecal matter of E. coli. It's true, you can look it up. It's organic though, so it's, it's probably not that big of a deal, but it just sounds gross. But aspartame, there's a lot of cancer research related aspartame, which used to be NutraSweet that says that it's not good for you. So I use stevia, it's kind of an acquired taste after two or three days, um, the stevia starts to taste okay. So basically f uh, for beverages, I pretty much only drink water and iced tea with stevia, and in the morning I drink coffee, maybe one, sometimes two cups. 
I use heavy cream. I do not use milk and I do not use half and half. Half and half is half cream and half milk and I don't use milk because milk sugar is definitely a no-no on keto diet. Heavy cream is actually really tasty. It's all fat. It's actually really good for you. Um, but not so much about what to eat. Let's go back to, I'm trying to bounce around here, but let's go back to uh, keto. So you want to lose weight. And I was just talking to some people up here uh, at the top of the mountain that were really cool. You know, if you're trying to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, whatever it is, 100 pounds, and you're just specifically not going to change your diet, and all you're going to do is uh, try to exercise and exercise 50 pounds off, it's really hard. Diet is way more conducive to losing weight than exercise. If you do both, it's even better. So... Some people up here so yeah and then it's just a matter of okay well what diet am I going to do okay guys they've been talking about low fat low sodium forever it's horrible for you it's the worst thing like I said I'm not a doctor but low fat diet is horrible for you and what are you going to eat processed foods carbs no and then exercise how many times have you tried that how many times has it worked it never works you need to take the carbs, the processed foods out of your diet, eat steak, roast, chicken, fish, lamb. I hate lamb. Uh, any kind of cheese you want, any kind of nuts and seeds you want in moderation. Now there's another quirk. This diet used to be called the Atkins diet in the 70s, 80s, and 90s before people started calling it keto. And on the Atkins form of the diet, he used to say you could eat as much as you want of any of this stuff and I totally disagree if you're eating huge slabs of steak huge quantities of cheese and stuff like that tons and tons of nuts and seeds it's gonna be tough for you to lose weight but like I said your appetite gets so small why would you want to stuff yourself up full of food when you can just eat a little bit and be satiated yesterday I had two eggs over easy at around two o'clock and I had two small pieces of fish for dinner and I was fine and actually the fish was deep fried breaded which um, beer batter which had carbs in it and I shouldn't even have done but I'm still in keto this morning because I know how to do the diet so hey how's it going you guys are on Facebook you guys are on Facebook just saying anyway um so it's kind of complicated, but it's pretty easy. Um, the weight falls off you really fast. I definitely recommend it to anybody that's trying to lose weight. Um, it's actually super easy, especially the first time you do it. It's tough sometimes, you know, if you go to a function and everybody's eating good food and you're not, but I look at it more of a corrective situation. If you're trying to lose weight and you have had trouble, this is, the keto is really the way to go. Uh, it is pretty freaking easy. I could talk about keto for like hours and I don't want to make a super long video. Uh, I'll probably go here for a minute longer, but if you like the video, if it's helpful, please share. Uh, if you have questions, I would really like if people had some questions and then I could do a follow-up video and answer questions because I had uh, a couple people say they wanted to know about it and kind of wanted to know what they wanted to know. So I didn't have a format. I don't have notes. I just did a hike and um, but let's see a couple other things um, some traps definitely don't want to have too much sweet and low or too much sugar if you're popping diet cokes non-stop um, that could be tough for some people to stay in ketosis I try to limit the diet sodas uh, I really don't even drink them ever occasionally at In-N-Out Burger I might get one um, a hack a little sweet treat or yummy treat you can have doing keto is you go to In-N-Out Burger and you get a double-double protein style, which is where they wrap it in uh, lettuce instead of bread. Double-double grilled onions protein style. Actually, I got a 3x3 three three the other day. It's really good. Um, a ribeye steak with some mushrooms, roasted veg, you know, maybe some Brussels sprouts, um, which are actually really good. And uh, maybe some red bell pepper and some onion diced up with some olive oil and salt and pepper. Guys, make sure that you're using enough salt. 
the low fat, low salt diet is so stupid. If if you're using sodium chloride, which is the cheap salt from the grocery store, which is made in a lab and contains sodium and chloride, yes, that's bad for you. But if you're using sea salt or Himalayan pink salt, which is actually not really salt, it's just earth mineral. It's like 85 to 88 minerals that are existing naturally that are in the same ratio in the sea as they are in your body. You really want to smash the salt, you guys. Use a lot of salt. Not a lot. Um, pharmacist Ben Fuchs would say, how do you know if it's too much salt? Because it'll taste too salty. And even for you Christians, it's in the Bible in Leviticus that you should salt your portions liberally. And they used to pay people in salt. So if you're using crap sodium chloride, fake uh, salt, you need to throw that in the garbage. Get yourself some good sea salt and start putting enough salt on your food that it tastes good. Um, So, I think that's all I'm going to say for now. That's 11 minutes. I know people don't want to watch a long video. If you have any questions, just ask them, and I'll do a follow-up video maybe here in a couple days. But uh, stick with it, guys. Limit your carbs. Definitely get the little keto sticks. You take a, you, when, you're, when you're taking your morning pee, just run it through your urine stream real quick. Um, if it lights up pink or dark red, you're, you're, you're expelling ketones, which means you're in ketosis, which means it's working, and that's actually super motivating when you see that it's working and let me know what your results are share share the video please thanks guys you can do it okay have a good day